Hey everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from jaredspillbitandpalby.com. This little one is Maisie. She is about a six month old pug. She has a very um, stenotic nose, meaning the, the alar wings on the side of her nose are almost slammed shut. So we are going to open them up a little bit. Um, this is best done, in my opinion, with laser. Uh, we also are doing it at the time of her spay. So I'm gonna cut a little piece of each side of her nose with the laser, and then we're opening that nose up so she can breathe better. So she will not have that snort that is so common in so many pugs. So if you wanna come over here and I'll show you. We cut a little wedge out of the side of her, this is the, her alar wing, so we cut a little wedge out. So this is the one that I haven't done. So you see how little air can pass through there? And then now I'm going to put a stitch in here. I took a little wedge out and then that'll be her new nose. So she will have a much wider opening to her nose. This is called brachycephalic syndrome. It's very common in the short nose kind of pug dogs, bulldogs, get it very commonly and it causes them to snort a lot. Um, over time that snorting can cause inflammation um, and over time it makes it harder for, and harder for them to breathe. So the, the things that are associated with brachycephalic breeds are stenotic nares, elongated soft palate, which means the soft palate goes all the way back to their throat. So that means when I anesthetized her, I had to make sure she was very well oxygenated. So she literally didn't suffocate on her own kind of back of her throat. Um, and then we also worried about everted saccules, which are little pieces of tissue in the back of her throat. They can become everted and make it even harder for her to breathe. And then um, hypoplastic trachea, which sometimes corresponds to having um, collapsing trachea. So there's quite a few things that we have done when we bred these guys to be really cute that made it harder for them to breathe. And this is one of the things that you can do early on, which will significantly reduce the amount of effort that they need to breathe. You also have to be really careful on hot days because they will overheat very easily. Um, and once they get overheated, it's very difficult for them to dissipate that heat. So one side of her nose is almost done. I'll let you come back in here and take a look. And she probably will not snore as much or snort as much, but she will be able to breathe much better. And that will make it much easier for her for the rest of her life to move air. So there's a the difference between the left side of her nose and the right side. Left side's much more open now. I'm gonna do the right side now, and then I'll do a vlog on her so you'll see before and after pictures. If you have any questions, you can reach me at pobly.com um, or come visit me at Jared's Pulvet. Take care.